Hey guys, welcome to the LCK Summer Playoffs. I'm Doa, that's Monte Cristo, and that's Papa Smithy. And today, KT Rollster versus Samsung Man. I feel like it's been so long <laughs> since we <laughs> saw oh, this match. It's been almost like five days <laughs> since these two teams have played each other. Three and a little bit earlier tonight. This afternoon, I guess. It's a cool flyby. I like it. It was literally a flyby. Oh, oh, oh. Pretty predictably, given how much sustain you can get through those landing phases. That guy's already surrendered. Oh wait, no, that's a Samsung flag. <laughs> I was more interested Might in the other guy who uh, was flagged for explicit content with his t-shirt. Wow. Probably shouldn't be po showing that on TV. That's he true. Looks, he definitely looks uh, pretty edgy. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for that guy. Holding his hands with his girlfriend, man. In Korea. Intimidating stuff. As we see that Samsung has changed one of the members of their team, they're going with Helper. Oh my and goodness! Stitch. Whoa! All right. Uh. Well. What? What? So, what? Okay. I, I <laughs> guess. Game of I the get, season. I get Helper. Stitch has not played a game this season, and he's coming in in game two of their playoff match. Come. And you maybe add a gin onto this? What's what's the 80 parry? Uh, 80 carry pick you kill? 80 parry. That sounds like a League of Legends pop star. <laughs> doesn't it? 80 carry pick. 80 parry. Wow. I've just invented a parody act. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I, I figured it out. They're using what? Stitch for the synergy with our in-between match song. Ah. Right? Yeah. So we have, yes, it's called Stitches, Doa. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, did, I did not know that. I am not very observant. It's the Lissandra. Hide. Look out. It's okay. We can still see your KT Rolster fans. That's the issue. No, Bumper. No, no, you actually, you want to put the sign on the camera, yeah. not above it. Bumper. <laughs> Show us your sign. All right. I just want to know why his shirt said Bumper. Sometimes shirts say things in Korea, and we don't really know why. You have a shirt that says Hamburger. I do. <laughs> it's, I love that shirt. It's just a t-shirt with a picture of a hamburger. It just says hamburger on it. I mean, it really doesn't get any more simple and beautiful than that for t-shirts, does it? The answer is no, it doesn't. You're just repping food. I, what can I say? I mean, people see an American, what do they expect? Hamburger. Just living up to the stereotypes. Good work, though. There you go. Well, I eat, ham I eat hamburgers responsibly. That's the difference. How do you eat hamburgers responsibly? You don't eat five of them in one sitting. Oh. What's the sweet spot? Three or four? I think one, generally. <laughs> Call yourself American. <laughs> two chains, huh? Two chains? You said two chains? Is that two chains? Two chains. <laughs> I think it's uh, Tarek's rapper name, pretty sure. Tarek, two chains, McDazzleton. That, he's a Scottish. A Scotsman then, the That's McDazzleton? I, I guess so, I don't know. <laughs> He's a fabulous Scotsman. He's going after the hamburger thing, I guess. <laughs> it has to be the bot lane, though. It has to be big visits. We're going to see one potentially right now, but yeah. KT have so much initiation for bot lane. I mean, crowd's not even level six, so <laughs> this is a very early roam. Yeah, they're going to get spotted by the ward, and I guess they're going to roam right back up to mid lane now. We're talking about Ash, Alistair, and Lissandra entering lane. Hella, Flash, Unborrow will help as well. There's so much one engaging engagement. Without that Braum, there is no clean answer for the arrow on the side of KT in the duo lane. Yeah, problem is, though, you can't do it prior to all of those champions really hitting six. And it was they just got excited, okay, Monty? They're <laughs> scoping it out. They're like, all right, this is the bot lane. Okay, this is where we'll come. I like how you referred to it as a visit. That's a very uh, like pleasant way of describing somebody coming to kill somebody else. How do you know they were there to kill anyone, though? Why are you always thinking about killing? I mean, because that's just the way the game is, you know? You don't come to the bot lane to say hi. You come to say die. <laughs> yeah. Important difference between the two. Important, subtle difference. That's right. Always thinking about killing, Doa. That's, I think we need to commit you. Soon. Hamburgers and killing. That's Doa. <laughs> I found a good career for you, you know? <laughs> League of Legends caster. Well, you got to kill something to have a hamburger. Well, until they uh, oh, grow we go. Uh-oh. Uh, Score's in trouble now. Wraith coming in for the headbutt. The pulverize. Nice. That's another kill for Samsung. As soon as he comes up, he's never coming down. Ignite. Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, he's just behind the turret. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he was ejected into space I by the Alistair. So. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> it's the best. 
can't help but look forward. You know, I see a series like this, specifically game two, the smart setup from KT, some of the individual players, and this looks like a KT team that can beat SKT, but really I know does. Monty especially has said that probably more than any other person in the world. <laughs> so it actually happening will be, we have to wait yeah. for the actual KT celebration. I have said that a lot. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think, like we've said many seasons past, on paper, yeah, it looks like they can beat SKT, but then again, you say never bet on SKT, or I say never bet on SKT, or bet against SKT, rather. Yeah, pretty different thing to and, say. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm usually right. <laughs> I'm usually right. Health bar to survive, but out of turret goes down. Suddenly, two oh, shots put up. Curtain call. Oh, Kuve. Oh, Kube. One more. Goes back oh. in. Oh. <laughs> Predicted. Well, oh, bye. bye. <laughs> Get out of here. That's about the appropriate response for that outplay <laughs> like, from Arrow. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm out after this like, game. Uh, my people need me. I must go. <laughs> Arrow's, like, Arrow's, yeah. been great. Arrow's been great tonight. I'm the man. <laughs> Ambition. Ooh, gets uh, majorly chunked out as he gets cocooned underneath the turret. There's Good the call. call again. Oh, wow. are you kidding me? Oh, I think uh, South Korea set the wrong person to the Olympics. <laughs> I think the uh, most accurate shooter we have here is Arrow. I don't know, they've already won all the archery events. Oh, that's, uh, that's true, I guess they're not doing that badly. Juve. Yeah, the, the most accurate arrow was left in Korea, though. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well said, though, well said. That's right. Hey guys, welcome to the LCK Summer Finals. I'm doing that. Monte Cristo, that's Papa Smithy. And guys, the impossible has happened after a whole two years of league play here in Korea. SK Telecom is not in the finals, but I'll tell you who is. The Rocks Tigers, KT Rolster, the two teams that have always come out short. Today, one of them will finally become the champion. I haven't been defeated in a single game, let alone a match since July 9th. Yeah. They very much come in the favorites, but KT Rolster, they showed in their first sweep against SK Telecom that anything is possible. That's right. And as we say that, like you said, the light has been shown upon <laughs> us as well, as if we now realize <laughs> the implications of what could happen with the finals without SK Telecom. <laughs> 선수가 저희 연습실 방문하시기도 하셨고 진종호 선수의 버프를 받은 것 같아요. 진종호요? 진종인이잖아요. 진종인이요? 페페 진진 진종인데요. 그 거기다가 다섯 개인 용대스. 몰라요? 그 페페 할때 경기 되게 인상 깊게 봤거든요. 별 걱정 안 해도 될것 같습니다. And of course, uh, Arrow talking about uh, the Korean gold medalist in the pistol ah. shooting that came to visit their house, played some League of Legends with them. And uh, so he's got an Olympian. That's why he's saying he is the, the king of Jin right now. That's why his accuracy has gone up in those trash talk videos, just to provide a little context for you guys. Well, I don't even know if he needed any tips, man. I mean, the way he's been <laughs> playing Jin lately, I think maybe he should be giving the Olympic shooters some advice. <laughs> that first blood gold, and we're already going to have a pause, guys. Okay. All right, it's pause time. This is called building the suspense, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Yeah, I mean, my, the very first LOL match I watched in Korea was uh, Prey on Najin's sword way back then versus uh, CJ Blaze, or at the time they were uh, MIG Blaze. And our first final, though, that was Prey's victory with yeah. Najin's sword, and it's now our 10th final. So I know, right? Happy, Ten happy 10th anniversary, Doha. That's right. <laughs> what, what is that an anniversary? Is that like a diamond or gold? Or what? what's the precious metal for a 10th anniversary? Do you which, know? which tier is it in? What skill level are we at after right. 10 seasons? Our, our, uh, I would say we're probably at least diamond, if No, not we're master. definitely challenger. Come on. Yeah, we're challenger. That's right. We're challenger tier. <laughs> so what did you get me for our challenger anniversary? Uh, rank decay. <laughs> thank you. I got your dynamic cue. Oh! Hey, thank you. You're welcome. That's why Papa Any, Smithy's here now, because we anytime. can group this three. <laughs> there we go. That's right. <laughs> well, figure out what's going on here. Eventually. Well, we won't figure it out. We don't have to do that. It's not on us. So don't come crying to us about these pauses. We don't like them any more than you do. I like them. Maybe, really? we, maybe we like them a little bit. All right. <laughs> We have to pretend we don't like him, though. I lost my jacket, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, heavy metal singer at the start just, like, sang so loud, and Monty's jacket just went whoosh. Yeah, that's right. Over there. It was amazing. I it barely missed it was, me. It was so intense, I had to just, it just blew right <laughs> off me. Right, that's right. The volume on that guy is crazy. During the, he just before so we good. went live, they were doing just a bit of a warm-up for the crowd, and the crowd was loud, and somehow he was louder. 
Yeah, well, they sang like the LCK fight song in yeah. the, the video that's out right now, and, and uh, man, that guy. And apparently right now, uh, the singer for that is actually like the most famous musician in Korea right now. He's, they call him the, the king of music or the, wow. the leader of music right now in Korea because he's such a good singer. He was on a very, uh, another famous singing show where they wear a mask so you don't know quite who it is. I don't know how anyone could mis mistake that voice for anybody else. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. <laughs> Except for you, maybe. Kind of sounds well, at the Nore Bong, at the uh, karaoke. It's, it's similar. It's similar. Yeah. When's your album dropping, Papa Smitty? <laughs> oh, just give me a couple of seasons, guys. I'll work on it. A couple of seasons? That's right. Seasons wow. of champions. I only work in the off-season, you see. Man. What happens first? George R. R. Martin finishes a book or Papa Smithy's <laughs> album drops? Maybe a mixtape before that happens. Okay, all right. A hot single, perhaps? That's right, a hot single. All right, look for it sometime in the future, guys. Papa Smithy's hot single. It's What's it called? It's rap metal, by the way. <laughs> that's, that's right, <laughs> rap metal. In the vein of uh, such acts as uh, Kid Rock, if you uh, may be familiar with that. Linkin Park. Linkin Park, yep. yeah. Quality, I'm still waiting for music. your spoken word album, Doa. Spoken word? What? Yeah, I think smoke, a spoken word album that you, you, you can really get that out there. <laughs> yeah, I could do it. You know, just William Shatner style. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only I would just do uh, songs from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze soundtrack, Ninja, Ninja, Rap. <laughs> Go Ninja. <laughs> Go ninja, go! Can you can you do We're spoken? We're on pause now. Can you do spoken word versions of rap songs? Hey, is that allowed? <laughs> it's, the, it's the green machine. <laughs> yeah. So, I guess uh, it's a game to talk about again. We're back. Rock Tigers versus KT Rolster. In case you forgot, or in case you're just tuning in, I don't know how you would accidentally turn on our stream, but if you did, welcome. That's right, don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be back with game two of the LCK Grand Finals on OGN right after a short break and right after we look at the uh, damage champion. This place should do that, too. I don't know. I'm ready to move on to the next game. But let's look at this for a moment. Do not go anywhere yet, guys. Lots more action on the LCK Summer Grand Finals on OGN right after this short break. I mean it. We'll be back. See you soon. Getting that Rek'Sai back. A score lurking in the enemy jungle here, waiting to try to steal that Gromp. He's got the ward there, throws the barrel in. Doesn't get it though. Smita, uh, Peanut able to smite it away. When you combine Peanut with Smite, you get Smita. Oh, <laughs> there you go. I think that was, uh, if Peanut was Captain Hook's That's first right. mate. <laughs> Mr. Smita, yeah. then, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Suiciding basically without dying, importantly for someday, but just pushing aggressively for pressure. and. This time, KT really profits from it, and none more so than the man on your screen. Yeah. Suiciding without dying. Yeah. The dream. <laughs> the dream. Suicide that's, is painless. I've heard that's still. hard to do, usually, man. Usually, we just call it sacrificing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. You got me there. <laughs> well. Zombie pushing, let's say. <laughs> there were, uh, uh, great. I love it. Redefining the meta in a new way, really. <laughs> Ah, yes, it wouldn't be an OGN League broadcast without comparing Kim Dong Joon to Tarek, of course. But let's forget about that for a moment, if we can. Fly gets the MVP for his Talia play, so how about that? Two games, two players on Talia, two MVPs. I, I think I'm noticing Weird. a little bit of a trend here. I don't know about you guys, but uh, Talia, this Talia champion seems pretty good. I think Peanut kind of has to have open hunting season, killing pirates and... Uh, vampires as much as possible. It's going to be a B movie here yeah. if Rock's Tigers are going to win. You know, killing pirates and vampires and explorers, I guess, archaeologists. And fabulous people, I guess. He hates archaeologists. <laughs> That's true. Fabulous people and spiders. <laughs> there you go. And welcome once again to Summoner's Rift for the third time tonight. Rock's Tigers versus KT Rolster. We are all tied up on the LCK <laughs> Summer Grand Finals here on OGN. Oh, look at that camera work. Man, seeing Summoner's Rift like never before. No 3D yet, or VR. Not yet. We're working on that one. Well, we're not working on that one, but somebody is, maybe. 
Hey, didn't we have you know? a VR at our last finals where uh, you could That's sit, right. they had a VR camera where you could sit in the stands and watch as if you were watching from the audience. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah. But that wasn't in Summoner's Rift, though. No. Yeah. Still work to be done. We'll get somebody to work on that. I got to say, that Pool Party Tarek cosplay was pretty uh, spot on. Yeah, he even had the abs for it. Impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That uh, Kim Dong Joon, quite the uh, quite the commentator and cosplayer. Four finals. It's the first time they've won two games. Very so true. Yeah. This is already an improvement for them. They've but won. they really need to solidify that legacy door. They need this win in a massive fashion. They've won uh, more games in this finals already than all their other LCK finals appearances combined. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Worlds. That's well, right. they're, they're, they're now tied. Yeah, not ta Worlds. We're, not, we're only oh, talking about great. LCK <laughs> finals. I'm only saying LCK finals. Yeah, they're tied with Globally, I guess. You could say. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Rocks Tigers, it just goes to show you what a couple little uh, minor overcommitments can cost you. Well, they're going full KT, guys. They got QSS on the Bard now. <laughs> of course they do. That Bard is not getting caught by anybody. Doesn't have a Proto Belt, though, so. Not yet, not yet. That's still optimism. <laughs> Proto Bard. Proto Bard sounds like an awesome band name, by the way. That's like my, uh, my like, uh, punk renaissance fair cross <laughs> band, like, Proto Bard. It's gonna be great. Maybe you just do 8-bit renaissance fair music or something. I mean, Katie has so many pick tools that they can piggyback on the moment rocks come up to try and contest the Baron. They have the Bard ultimate, they have the Glacial Path. They have good ways to force a fight. They just need rocks to come out of their base, and the only objective on the map that will really uh, behoove that is the Baron. So they're kind of waiting for the Baron spawn, pushing up their vision and looking for some picks. Don't say piggyback, Papa Smithy. That traumatizes me this season. <laughs> is that your trigger word? I, can, I can't take It's all that. of our trigger words. You mean your yeah. trigger word, Papa Smithy. That's right. Please don't. <laughs> Absolutely it could, and we'll see if there are any dramatic departures in the draft. Blind pick is gone, so unfortunately we don't oh. get to see yeah. we don't get to see uh, the paradise of Talia Weaver's walls <laughs> crisscrossing each other, which would have been very exciting. Double what? Talia, double Gragas, barrels everywhere. <laughs> the ground just worked completely bare. There's no <laughs> ground anywhere. Everywhere's yep. worked. Yeah, Smeb working on that six item now, going for a force for the GA. Yep. All right. Why not push the other turrets? You gotta hand it to Rock Tigers. They are playing this out methodically. They're not, they're not overdoing it. Well, they, they were overdoing it there for a little bit. They're they not could. right now. <laughs> they've they've, they've <laughs> calmed down. They have calmed right. down. Well, I refuse to calm down. And they are going to get a spot in Worlds again. There it is. Rock Tigers take it. GG. It's about time. And that is it. Third time is a charm in Korea for the Tigers. They finally overcome their curse. First place is theirs. Congratulations. I can't believe it. It's This is their moment. And, and uh, I got to say, that's it for us, guys. We got to throw it over the transfer. Before we do, on behalf of myself, Papa Smithy, Monte Cristo, and Kilios, of course, the OGN staff, thank you so much for watching, guys. We hope you'll stick with us for League of Legends and other esports here on OGN in the future. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Enjoy the uh, ending of the finals, guys. Thanks a lot.